Hey guys, Gabriel right here representing the Movement Tours Improvement and welcome back to the Course Challenge 9 Holes where if my good friend Mr. Sam Chan bogeys, he's got dropped in the bogey bucket, which he already has. Sam, what's your little, so far your take on the bogey bucket? Uh, you don't like it. It's pretty creative and I can't do that. To okay. that rap thing. Well, Maybe the, this other stuff. Is I'll just right. say right now, that is actually the lesser of the consequences. So no. it's only going to get worse no from here. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. What do I play like with my underwear on or something? Oh, I'm fine God. with that. Okay. But well, I just can't rap. Confident guy. That being said, you guys, if he breaks par, he becomes a champion, win the prize. Asking Sam, he's a professional golfer, been a professional golfer for six, seven years now. So I'm trying to sh extract as much information and wisdom, um, what he's been learning, how he's been growing, um, how we can help your guys' game. That being said, thank you to Vista Valley Country Club for allowing us to come out here and film. This is where Sam comes back and plays and practices as he prepares to go back to China tomorrow. That's right. Um, with that being said, thank you to them, and we'll film some beautiful holes and some beautiful shots for you guys. Perfect, let's go. This hole is actually the hardest hole in the golf course. Do you know this? Dog leg left. I don't even know, like, I, Par I four. feel like I should be hitting a two iron, just because look at how far back this tee is. 434 yards. I mean, it. I think two iron's yeah, the way to go. I mean, it's deep. Yeah, today, because cause you're going to kind of hit into the wind. Dude, just, it's just, a pretty deep hole, bro. Yeah, it is. It is a deep hole, huh? and, and it's really hard to hit driver. Dude. You, you hit, hit it straight, and you're like... I mean, Blair hit like five drives here the other day. <laughs> Sam, so why do you come back out here and play at Vista? Um, I kind of like it because it's kind of tucked away from kind of the rest of North County or the rest of the country clubs. I think it's... See how these mountains here... Um, Feel really secluded over here. Yeah, and you know, me working on my game, I feel like it's like kind of nice. It's nice narrow golf course where I can just kind of, you know, work on shot shaping. Mm -hmm. um, it's not not too busy either, so kind of can whiz around here in uh, less than four hours, which is in San Diego. You know that game. It's tough. Yeah. yeah. So what's the shot shape here? A little draw. Yeah, a little draw. See that uh, cart, cart there? Yeah. A little draw off that. I actually, off straight at the cart is fine, but if it draws, it's great. If it doesn't, it's fine. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But um, anywhere that ends up there is perfect, too. All right. Take a little intermediate. Okay, straight ball down the right center. Maybe about a one, two yard draw, should be fine. Okay, good shot. Okay, Sammy, great, great straight ball, right center. It's good, good angle here. What do you got to the pin? 197. 197, what club you got? Five. Okay, I like that club. A little uphill. Yeah, a little cut. A little cut. Dude, I just got new spikes, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> you like, they're working good. Okay, a little bleeder to the right. Wind's no. trying to help it. Sit. You know what? Okay, Sam, a little short right over here. Just stayed out of the bunker. How are you gonna play this one? Uh, Mid-flight pitch, just okay. over that shadow. Okay. Scoot up. Wow. How good's that? <laughs> you gotta just own what you play. That's 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 what I was talking about, Gabe. Right? Just own it. That's two pitches that, you know, inside two feet, which, you know, I mean, obviously I would have loved to hit the green, but I'm not, I'm not like freaking out, you know, because I know where I missed yeah. it, I can get up and down. So that's like. Not only that, but then you're almost like, almost excited. Yeah, I feel like I'm like, um, that's like what I do. Yeah, you're like comfortable. You're like, it's hey. like, it's fine. You're just like walking it's in the park. Just, do you know what I mean? All right, next par. And then when you hit a good shot. It's about, it's, I'm going to probably get make there. It. Or, yeah. you know, par fives and stuff. But that's like, uh, like what I explained to you in the, before the round happened. Yeah. I was like, dude, that's me, man. You know, it's always been like, and I got to get that. It's not like I'm trying to miss greens, but like. 
when I miss it, I know I'm good enough it's to... It's a 5 iron from 190 yeah, to the wind. I mean, yeah, it's, it's not a 7 iron. It's not yeah. an 8 iron. But, like, old me would have stayed there and tried, yeah. you know... Gotcha. And got really down on myself to, that I missed it there. But, I mean, it's chipped it to, like, three, two feet and made it. All right. Nice up and down. Yeah, thanks. Okay, Sammy, nice up and down in the last hole. Okay, hole number five here, 384 yards, par four. Sam, what do you got? Four iron. As you can see, Sam's hitting a lot of irons off the tee. Yeah, look how tight that is. Like it's, zoom, 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 look at that. It is very narrow shoot, <laughs> and you really got to put the ball in position on this Hazard course. Has it all the way down the right? OB this is left. definitely a player's course. Um, so my target, if you guys can see, see that bridge? Uh, he can, they, they can't see the bridge. They probably can see the greenside bunker, right? Yeah. So that's the left side of that greenside bunker. I'm going to draw off it. Okay. You right? Yeah. Okay, good shot. Down the left center. Yeah. That'll work. That's kind of like the miss. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is, that is a good miss on this one. That's where you're kind of supposed to you hit. You don't want to miss it right. Be blocked out. All right, Sam. As we drive to your ball, give us a little bit of your life philosophy on kind of like how you like what your perspective is on life and how you like to kind of maintain your internal state. Uh, my internal state. Well, I think I think what I've learned is to kind of to be balanced. You can't be golfing like like you got a year, right? And let's say I play a year, a, year, a full competition year. There's got to be times where you take a few weeks off in between or else your mind just gets not only does your body get burnt out, your mind gets burnt out. It needs to be at least what I've learned is you need to be, have some, some sort of balance in your life. Whether it be spending time with your family, spending time with your coach, spending time with friends. You know, I just came back from a wedding mm. and I feel like... That was fun. That was fun and like it was great to catch up with like old friends and now 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 I'm back like golfing and I don't feel like it's like a... It's you're like almost, a usually when you take those breaks off, you're almost juiced to get back. Like, yeah. itching, like you're excited. Yeah, and you kind of... But you're not excited if you never take that break. No, you're just like, it's no, just in that right no. that and and and. and yeah, and that's the biggest thing is to be balanced, like um, golf, life, um, you know, fitness, nutrition. All that needs to be, like, in some sort of a, okay. a healthy, like, uh, state for, for, for your golf to be functioning properly. I okay. Think. Yeah. Do you think that, has, like, changes at different times of your golfing career? Like, versus college versus maybe just starting pro golf versus Well, now? I think for me, college was more of a balance because I studied. Mm -hmm. And I work, I mean, I still work out, but, I mean, there's, there's times where, you know, my buddies were like two doors down from me. Mm -hmm. So whenever I got done practice, I go hang out with them. Okay. And we we're all like in the same area. So there was the social time was so already there. Took, it was already there. Got gotcha. you. You know, whereas golf, golf was still like number one, two, but it was like it was easier to keep it balanced. Gotcha. Whereas now, you because your environment are, yeah. suited it already. And now my friends are all over the country. You know, it's like meeting up isn't as easy. So you just kind of. Even if you have off time, you just kind of you're, you're you're still golfing. Yeah. You know, because what else is there to do? Yeah. But to make that effort, I would say, um, with the family, with the friends, it's it's huge because um, it just puts your mental mind at, at okay. ease. I think. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, I think it's easy to to get away, like just golf all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't know, especially when you're like obsessed about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, yeah, a couple weeks break here and there won't hurt. Thank you. All right, Sammy Chi, what do you six, got? Six, 160, back pin, okay. into the wind. Into the wind. I think right now there's a lot of wind up there. Dude. There's a lot of But the problem with this hole is it jumps, dude. So it'll probably even out, I think. Okay. So 160, right? Yeah. I'm going to play it right at the number, which is eight. Which is an 8-iron. Is this tree in your way? No. You sure? Yeah. L a, little low, a little lower. Okay. It's like right to left. Yeah, a little right to left. Okay. I like that trage a lot. Oh, didn't come Whoa. on, wind.
I feel like that shot was better than it ended up. What do you think? Yeah, I think you just got to take more club right now. That divot's perfect, no? Yeah, it was a good shot. I think I think there's a lot of wind up there. Anyways, he's just off the front, um, on the front edge. Should be an easy up and down. Yeah, I just wasn't sure if it was going to jump off in that rough or not. Yeah. Nice little trail to follow, huh, Sam? Yeah. This course is overall in pretty decent shape. It's a fun course. Yeah, it's Definitely fun course. Character. To, it's, it's fun course to gamble, you know. Yeah. Like when you're playing like team partners, it's like, yeah. oh my! Especially the last hole, dude. It's so easy to hit it on a play. <sighs> huh? Yeah. Even this hole, dude. Okay, Sammy just off the front can do a lot of things here. Wow, look at that pitch mark. I would putt this, but do you see that pitch mark? Yeah. Right there. Obviously, I can't fix it. So, you, is that a rule? You can't fix pitch marks off the green? No, you can't. Let me get a little up close up to that. Well, you take it up close up back here, dude. That's like exactly my line. Look. No. Yeah. See, there's one here. Oh, yeah. There's an old one here. Oh, gotcha. Got you. Like, this is an easy putt, you know? Yeah. Like, I would just kind of putt it here. But then I just, I don't want it to go doink. Yeah. You see that? Yeah. Hey, that bogey bucket, you better be careful, boy. That ain't no joke. <laughs> what club do you got, Sam? Nine iron. Land a few paces on, just roll it to there like a putt? Yep. Do you use your putting grip or normal grip? Uh, normal grip, but depending on the shot. Okay, that's 50 feet here, 55 feet. In. Short game clinic today. <laughs> I'll give this one to you, Sam. That I actually thought was gonna go in, like high side slow. Nice chip. Thanks. That was pretty good. <laughs> that was sick, right? That's all PG, bro. <laughs> Pat Goss, for those that don't get the lingo. That's pure. I mean, I think, um, especially it's windy today, so you're gonna miss a few greens. And this course is like pretty tricky. It's narrow and windy. Yeah, and you're gonna have like, the thing with this, this course is like, you're gonna hit two, four, five iron off the tee. Mm -hmm. And when it's windy like this, you're probably gonna hit seven, eight, nine iron instead of wedging. So your, your, your proximity hole is gonna be, proxi proximity to the hole is gonna be a little further, so you gotta be like super tidy, you know? Like this is another hole, full iron off the tee. <laughs> and, but this is the cool thing though, is the back's much different. Two what? different nines. The oh yeah, nine. yeah, the back nine's like So three for those driver. who are watching, it has a lot of character on the back yeah, too, it's and great. it's very, very different. Open. Open, like uh, more drops. Yeah. And par fives are like. We'll have to do a part yeah. two next time you come back. Yeah. Okay, hole number six here, 368 yards. Sam, what are you going with? Four iron, same club. Okay, left center? Uh, depending on where the wind's coming from. <sighs> yeah, just center, center. Okay, I like it. Okay, perfect shot. Left center, nice little draw. Take that all day. Ooh, that was actually really good, huh? Perfect. Say that again. Like, choo. Yeah. How good that, is this That one? thing was ki 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 killed. Great shot. Right. Oh, gosh. Got Asian, you on the pace. Got you. Asian drivers, it's a real <laughs> got thing. <you. laughs> got you, biatch. 116. Downwind, this is, downhill. This is like go time. Nah. Yeah, 116. Probably like down to 
14, downwind, 110. It's like full gap wood. Landing almost like 108. Yeah. It's weird. The wind's like this, but then look at the pin. Pin like looks like it's it's going the other way. Coming in and from the left, huh? Yeah, I'm just gonna go straight at it. Yeah, I think you gotta go off that pin though. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, a little out to the right. Did that just start way right? Yeah, it kind of, well, it kind of started right side and then squared just a little bit. Short right of the green, gonna have to be another up and down. <sighs> Let me hit another one. Okay, so Sammy hit this little slope right here and his ball rolled down. But as of right now, Sam is short game has put some really good shots on. Going uphill though, you're gonna have to hit a little spinner, huh Sam? Yeah, I mean it's got, this is like a legit pitch. Yeah. All right, folks, that's how you do it. Three and a half feet right there. Simple butter shot right past the pin. Decent. Yeah, it's a pretty tough little shot, actually. Because it, it's landing on a down slope. Yeah, you're going uphill. It, it tried to check a little bit, right? Yeah, no, it was a, honestly, that was probably a nine out of 10, to be honest. Yeah, it was a pretty good shot. I mean, it was good contact. No, that was probably a nine out of 10. Because like, from low to high. Or else you're basically then, landing like a foot on. You're like barely just going. I did land it a foot on, though. Mm, a little bit more. Like three and a half feet. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, like you're barely landing That's it like, over. Yeah. It's a little sketch then. I agree. So you kind of have a little downhill slider, huh, Sam? Yeah, this is kind of sketchy. Three and a half feet. Where are you playing this one? Oh, shit. These guys are right behind us. Yeah, I'm doing good. We're fine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm playing this uh, right center. Okay. Yep. Nice putt. Thanks. Nice putt. Oh, that was nice. Nice part. Thanks. Okay, you guys, thanks for watching that part deuce of the course challenge. Sam, some really beautiful up and downs. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, those are uh, those are tidy. Those yeah. are sweet. Yeah. Um, so some really fun time out here. Vista Valley is looking great once again, you guys. Make sure you go watch part one and the what's in the bag. Part three is now coming up. With that being said, like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. See you in the next video. Three birdies coming up. Woo! <laughs>